Esco, Chosen Nation, what is up, what is up? Your girl is back. What is going on? What is going on, child? It's hot outside. But there was something that was so funny. I could not help it. I was like, Lord, I got to come say this. It was so funny, y'all. And I, I was going through something because the enemy was trying to do what he be liking to do, you know? And just like tip for tat tip for tat Y'all, <laughs> I'm outside, so listen. There are certain things that y'all might have to see me smacking a book or smacking some things, you know, but you're going to have to excuse me because right now it's getting very much so Ruth in the field. And, you know, like I, I, I plan to come out here and be all, you know, Esther and all that good stuff, you know, but at the end of the day, it was like, Lord, you know, I'm going to have to bring out Ruth if anything touch me. <laughs> Crew Chosen Vessel, Chosen Nation, what is up? What is up? Your girl is back. What is going on? What is going on, child? It's hot outside. What? There was something that was so funny. I could not help it. I was like, Lord, I got to come say this. It was so funny, y'all. And I, I was going through something because the enemy was trying to do what he be liking to do, you know? And just like tit for tat, tit for tat. Oh, <laughs> I'm outside, so listen. There are certain things that y'all might have to see me smacking a bug or smacking some things, you know, but you're going to have to excuse me because right now it's getting very much so Ruth in the field. And, you know, like I, I, I plan to come out here and be all, you know, Esther and all that good stuff, you know, but at the end of the day, it was like, Lord, you know, I'm going to have to bring our roof if anything touch me. <laughs> Maybe I'm touching it back. Okay. So if y'all see me get the swap in there, I don't do, I told y'all last time on that one video, I don't do those things that fly, those things that crawl, those things that don't touch, don't come. It's fine where it's at. Okay. Yeah. All of that. And so look, y'all, tell me why we want to cancel, rebuke, denounce divination. We want to cancel, rebuke, denounce imagination. I know you must have caught that, that last podcast. I know you must have caught the last podcast. Okay. Holy Spirit, all of you, Lord, none of me, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. I heard him say the glory door is open in Jesus mighty name. The glory door is open in Jesus mighty name. Okay. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Okay. And so this is the catch. The funniest thing is, um, so y'all remember that one movie um twilight child i was reading in the word and i used to love this movie i used to like this movie thank god i am born again right because i'm able to understand fully who my who i am in my identity without the third party of imagination and all of that other stuff of captors trying to come in swing on in you know go catch that podcast that i just did where it says reveal no more as we was revealing the fruits of the the, the the things that were hidden from the backdrop of what the holy spirit said okay and so it was given very much so revealing all type of things that we didn't even know we need to know you know and so i was talking about me and my kids we had seen like a clip of the vision of the holy spirit was showing us that movie magnificent of the flying creatures right and so these things they be trying to make imagination out of them and they be trying to do certain things and flying ass child i don't know why they made i don't know for what reason they you know <laughs> child they ain't for me but um long story short you know animation they always coming and doing certain things and trying to make more and more uh things become led astray become you know high thoughts okay god says for the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal minded they are mighty of god to pull down and cast down every stronghold every high thought and imagination is on itself against the knowledge and the word of god to bring it to subdue to the obedience of christ jesus so those high thoughts in jesus mighty name be half do they be having to be cast down they be having to my god be sent running okay and so your girl definitely as Jesus is the prophet, he know, and your girl has been, you know, purposed or called or, you know, chosen, he know, as a prophetess, I come, hear me now, to set the captives free for one, and then send them running into exile for two, and then for three, I come to also let us all know the, the truth about that. You know how Daniel had to come in and say what his father said, he know, and so that's when we got to come and shed some light, and then I'm over here thinking, and as I'm thinking, it's just, everything just, the fireworks went off, right? So I'm reading, I'm about to read this to y'all and see if y'all start, y'all start, if, if it start popping off for y'all like that. Let me just read for y'all, okay? So we in Matthew. This is 17. And it says, after six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up on a high hill. Wait, led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then, there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Hear me now. This is what I want to tell y'all. So y'all remember that scene in that clip with, uh, that clip with uh edward right y'all know edward and bella he be though they always uh 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 they touch me <laughs> i already know this is gonna be a funny laugh because y'all i ain't playing with nothing that fly okay y'all know i read this in the word that be careful what you say around be careful not to speak against the rich okay and it said that the flying monkeys are fly yeah flying monkeys will come around and it will tell what you said it will take back the word of what you said to somebody else hear me though the very thing that you said and i'm like the monkeys is like definitely right agents now, that work for us uh, satan right and so but i'm like but lord we rich because you know our heavenly father he rich you know and so i'm like so certain things 
people be saying behind our back, them flying little demons want to come back and run it back to us and, you know, trying to see if they can push our buttons or see if it's going to make us do certain things or react certain way or respond certain ways. And he like, daughter, I think you're on to me now. And I like, love, but you put boundaries between us and that certain thing. So he like, yeah, you know, and I heard my father say there are some that is, you know, you know, you want to stay away from those roles that bring you to enmity, but some don't have the true understanding of what they're doing when they speak it downward on the chosen one and expect it, my God, it to be hush, hush. And see, even the people that they speak to have a tendency of trying to run it back, but this is to catch about it all. When you don't open your ears to anybody or you don't open your phone to everybody or you don't talk, you know, God says only a fool utter everything they know. And so this is the catch about it. When you keep yourself in the private or the sacred space of the most high God and you are protective about your space, you are pr protective about your, you know, like everything about you, who you are, what you bring and where you go and all those, you know, different details of the story, right? Not everything gonna be able to get to you, but see when you supernaturally gifted, right? You still gonna get the message. You still gonna hear it, baby. The, the, the earth gonna be speaking, baby. Hear me, all God gonna be using everything to speak. Y'all remember what He said in Isaiah, where He would use the He would use the uh, land to He would whistle to the He was whistling in the Nile. Hear me, all and everything that what He needed to speak a message to whoever He needed to speak to at that time, baby. The message was coming across just fine, just golden. And so God knows how to get a message across to you, and you don't even gotta be around nobody that like the gossip. But those things are where they came from. You wanna testify to the Spirit by the Spirit because we know the gossipers are the main ones in hell and a lot of people be needing deliverance from those things but also they be needing deliverance from speaking downwardly like witches and warlocks love to speak spells and things that is my god downcast always want to remember you from a sunken space always want to remember you from where you used to be they want to remember from the things that you could never do they want to remember you from the place that you don't have jesus so they can get you to come out of the will of god so they can finally have something to say about you but what does that say about them that's why you don't even never have to respond because baby you allow them to say what they saying but see that's projection you let people project what they want to project and their story is revealing their fruit Baby, as you choose to focus on Jesus, as you choose to focus on the incline, as you choose to go and do what you choose to do in your life, push our buttons or see if it's going to make us do certain things or react certain way or respond certain ways. And he like, daughter, I think you're on to me now. And I like, love, but you put boundaries between us and that certain thing. So he like, yeah, you know, and I heard my father say there are some that is, you know, you know, you want to stay away from those roles that bring you to entity, but some don't have the true understanding of what they're doing when they speak it downward on the chosen one and expect it, my God, it to be hush, hush. And see, even the people that they speak to have a tendency of trying to run it back, but this is the catch about it all. When you don't open your ears to anybody or you don't open your phone to everybody or you don't talk, you know, and run it back to us. And what you said, it will take back the word of what you said to somebody else. See me though? The very thing that you said. I'm like, the monkeys is like definitely agents that work for us, Satan, right? And so, but I'm like, but Lord, we rich because you know, our Heavenly Father, he rich, you know? And so I'm like, so certain things people be saying behind our back, them flying little demons want to come back and run it back to us and, you know, trying to see if they can push our buttons or see if it's going to make us do certain things or react certain way or respond certain ways. And he like, daughter, I think you're on to me now. And I'm like, Lord, but you put boundaries between us and that certain thing. So he like, yeah, you know, and I heard my father say, there are some that is, you know, you know, you want to stay away from those roles that bring you to end but some don't have the true understanding of what they're doing when they speak it downward on the chosen one and expect it, my God, it to be hush hush. And see, even the people that they speak to have a tendency of trying to run it back, but this is the catch about it all. When you don't open your ears to anybody or you don't open your phone to everybody or you don't talk, you know, God says only a fool utter everything they know. And so this is the catch about it. When you keep yourself in the private or the sacred space of the most high God and you are protective about your space, you are pr protective about your, you know, like everything about you, who you are, what you bring and where you go and all those, you know, different details of the story, right? Not everything gonna be able to get to you, but see when you supernaturally gifted, right? You still gonna get the message. You still gonna hear it, baby. The, the, the earth gonna be speaking, baby. Him at all, God gonna be using everything to speak. Y'all remember what He said in Isaiah, where He would use the He would use the uh, land to He would whistle to the He was whistling in the Nile. Him at all, and everything that what He needed to speak a message to whoever He needed to speak to at that time, baby. The message was coming across just fine, just golden. And so God knows how to get a message across to you, and you don't even gotta be around nobody that like the gossip. But those things are where they came from. You wanna testify to the Spirit by the Spirit, because we know the gossipers are the main ones in hell, and a lot of people be needing deliverance from those things, but also they be needing deliverance from speaking downwardly, like witches and warlocks love to speak. Spells and things that is my God downcast always want to remember you from a sunken space always want to remember you from where you used to be They want to remember from the things that you could never do They want to remember you from the place that you don't have Jesus so they can get you to come out of the will of God So they can finally have something to say about you, but what does that say about them? That's why you don't even never have to respond because baby you allow them to say what they saying But see that's projection you let people project what they want to project and their story is revealing their fruits Baby as you choose to focus on Jesus as you choose to focus on the incline as you choose to go and do what you choose to do in your life Ain't nothing else can come up against you And so whatever it is is gonna have to have a boundary against thee because you are chosen because you are set apart because you are a, na a, a nation. Hear me though, that belongs to the Lord. And hear me now as a royal possession. Hear me though, so your identity, my God, doesn't look like what people are expecting it to look like. And so they be waiting on a moment to bring you back to a place of what you remember, you know, that you don't even, you hear me now, that you don't even remember about. Truly, you know? And so that's what it be. But this is the funniest thing is that, child, I'm moving all around because I'm not like boobs. <laughs> but I gotta tell y'all this. This is deep. So tell me why. Okay, y'all heard me read this, right? That scene with Edward. Okay, it's time to, child. 
You know, I be, I be challenging myself because I do like to get outside, you know, but mm -mm, they running up on me. It's time to go. Who you sent to and who worked with you? Who you working for? <laughs> y'all gotta hold on. I'm about to put y'all on pause, y'all. I'm about to go to war. And they making me hot. <laughs> ah, it feel like that one whooping child when you just start itching. Hear me all. That's what, listen, y'all. I hope y'all have a laughter at this. I'll be right back. Hold that thought. Remember when Edward went up there on that hill with Bella? And let's just make it funny. It is what it is. This, this is a memory, okay? But listen, y'all. Y'all remember when Edward uh, went up there? This is not the season for me. Okay, child, I try to go on a, you know, look, look scavenger hunt out here acting like I'm kid and I can be down with the down. I ain't down with it, okay? <laughs> but look, y'all. I'm about to take this somewhere else. Did it bug just let child? Bye, y'all. I'll be right back. Hold up. We did it, y'all. I just couldn't take it. <laughs> I think that's so funny, but so let, let me tell y'all. Hold on one second. Bring your dog. Please don't let your dog run over here. Please don't. Please don't let your dog try to run over here by me. Please don't. Catch. Edward literally went up to a place where he was uh trying to basically child. <laughs> you know, I, I gotta calm down after that situation. <laughs> <laughs> who won the fight y'all already know who won the fight it was given very much so uh i don't, I don't know if i won but i got away <laughs> all i know is this is the catch about it okay them bugs child why they here anyway you know we ain't need them oh man but look y'all let me tell y'all something edward i done said that fifty thousand. Oh. them bugs child why they here anyway you know we ain't need them oh man but look y'all let me tell y'all something Edward, I done said that 50,000 times. Y'all y'all clearly found out your sister what I don't want. But Edward, he went up there on the mountain or whatever. And he was trying to act. He started doing something with the sun. Yeah, he did something with the sun up there. And he was all shining and shimmering. They done found me. Oh, my God. It's over with. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Hold on. We got to fight. This, this, I, I refuse to give up. <laughs> Not my lips. Hold on. Yeah, appalled. Okay. But look, y'all, David. I mean, I said David, child. Now we done jumped to David. Lord, what you want to say about David? Hear me though. <laughs> oh my God. I heard something in the branches, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. This ain't for me. I thought it was for me. Like, yeah, they say do something adventurous, you know, take a hike, you know, enjoy yourself a little bit, get some fresh air. And yeah, things starting to twiggle behind the trees. And it's like, what's back there for real? But, um, let me say this and I'm running. I, I'm running because I'm just like, you know, this ain't for me. Like, it's just time to go. I thought I thought I was going to be able to do this. But he went up on the tree. The enemy hate it. That's really what it is. He went up on the, in the trees in the woods and everything. You can see I ain't from the same part that he from. I ain't from that part. Nope. See, you can't see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. And now that I'm born again, child, if you just came on, hey, you, hey, you, go back and see it from the beginning. I'm telling how you, you girl was fighting everything. And it's buzz out here, child. But I'm trying to tell y'all something that was so funny. And so, David, I mean, no, Edward in the movie, okay? Edward in the movie went up there on the hill. And when he went up there on the hill, I'll tell you this real quick. He went up there on the hill, and he started glistening and everything when the sun hit him. And it was like, his skin started, tw like, twinkling a little bit. And they was calling it Twilight, that movie. You know that movie? And then I was like, Lord, and then he came. Well, then somebody else came up there and seen him reveal his light, his little whatever dim looking light, shimmery, glittery light. Everything that glitter ain't gold. But see, when he went up there, it was something else that came after him. I like, it's a woman. Oh, okay. And so that, what they revealing over there on them fruits? You know, we got to see the fruits of a matter. I know, I know. It's hard to heal, but baby, them fruits got to talk. Because what is it trying to say? And I'm like, Lord, could that be Jezebel up there trying to go see him? Because in your word, you, 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 this is what happened. This is what happened, how they be stealing the movies and all, you know, try to take my father's word and, and, get, and get caught himself getting credit. Let me tell y'all, it says after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. Okay, hold on one second, y'all. These ants, I can't do them. They flying. Why did they ever have wings? What? What? <laughs> mm. Hear me now. All right. So listen, it says. He, he led them up a high mountain by themselves and his there he was transfigured before them okay his face shone like the sun what movie what is they trying to portray them fruits is telling they're revealing the faulty contract and foundations but see they try to make it look like a love story but it's a vampire and like let me drain you and you drain me and let's go wrestle with the dead about it and like you know let's go say we from this ancestral tribe of wolves and then this wolves coming to mate with these you know vampires and these vampires become all together with the love triangle of her ex and her new and they all in this, this secluded family of draining and dead and toxicity come on now what is these fruits telling our body we don't need to hear it that's what it said and then they got it from my father but then they tried to do it like a shape-shifting demon come on now that's what's going on even though like, like these little flying ants want to keep touching me now i think i'm all right now you know <laughs> 
But yeah, I gotta say this. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Baby Moses and Elijah was talking with Jesus because they was eternal. I think the movie got the script wrong. I, you know, they was wanting everybody to go talk to the dead. They was wanting everybody to talk to nature. They was wanting everybody to talk to the certain things that didn't really talk back unless God gave the message. But see, some people be missing the fact that it's God speaking to them and they start giving credit to things that don't make sense for real. And so you gotta truly know the understanding of a relationship with the most high God to truly get what is going, what is really going on. But see, you know, the disciples, when they were up there on the mountain with Jesus, they was getting relationship because they was getting Jesus. And so when they got Jesus, everything became Mike's trying to say. And so all of that, you know, it made more sense to why something was coming down out of heaven. Ah, that it was, it was coming there with Jesus who understands what heaven looks like, who understands the unknown, who understands what is known and made unknown. He even though, but guess what? He also had backup. He also had backup up there. Let me tell y'all how, because then God showed up and he appeared. He said right here, it says, Peter said to uh, Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them and a voice from the cloud said, this is my son whom I love with him. I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground terrified but Jesus came and touched them get up he said don't be afraid when they looked up they saw no one except Jesus as they were coming down the mountain Jesus instructed them don't tell anyone hear me though that's why you don't tell everybody everything hear me now it says you shall not commit adultery hear me though oh wait 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 we skipped the page but I suggest you go ahead and read Matthew y'all Matthew 20 or 19 you should definitely tap to it okay but it actually said let me go here it actually said hold on one second y'all Okay, don't tell no one what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The disciples asked him, why then do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? Jesus, somebody had the wrong story and the wrong idea. Somebody who was focusing on the law and living in a culture standpoint. Somebody had the wrong story. Somebody had, my God, they was left out of a situation because they didn't want to take in Jesus. That was the catch about it all. See, see, people be wanting to live their life the way that they want to live it and they try to build a tower to heaven and think they got everything that they got and they know everything that they know because of the worldly time frames of what culture life could try to say. But see, God says the deceiver and the deceivers are in his hand. He says the just and the just is in his hand. Baby, he reigned on both of them. But you want to be on the right side of God in order for you to get the purified. Hear me now, the pure version. The land without blemish. Because without the land without blemish, baby, everything you do wrong is counted against you. Which means whatever you try to do going to come back on you. And so you got to make sure you actually actually in the word for real and not just knowing the word or not just knowing the law baby people be knowing the law but not really understanding that when they're doing the law and they're living by the law baby they now become acceptable to whatever come to the law and that's just what it be see jesus is our salvation and so when we be really coming over here and looking like when people be trying to focus on us from a place of where we used to be it be looking like they don't want to see us from this standpoint because they see the purest the purified version where god says he it all those pure hearts i see him i know y'all be well be blessed i hope you laugh at this child i'm running i'm out of here like no more child, I thought I could do it and I thought I was, you know, able to get down and get dirty, but so I just like don't like it. And it's like it's giving very much so I just like it clean, like when Jesus cleaned the disciples' feet. Come on now, I'm out of here. Bye y'all. I love y'all.